Good morning, the fine elementary kindergartners. We are on week four, day three. A reminder that packet pickup is this Friday, May 1st, so that will be for the next two weeks. And you can go during the same time frames as last time, between 8 to 10 a.m. or 2 to 4 p.m. You'll be able to do the drive through pickup. If you need to make other arrangements, you need you can't go at those times or you're not able to come to the school to pick it up, please let your teacher or the office know so we can make arrangements for you. And our morning message. Good morning, kindergarten. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. The letters of the week are J and Q and the sight words are here and me. Today is supposed to be sunny and warm, what is one thing you would like to do outside today? It's been really nice here today, and I know for Wednesday it's going to be nice too, so I hope everybody is enjoying the outside warm weather. There is the conference schedule for the day, and a reminder that teachers in kindergarten have office hours from 2 to 3 p.m. Let us know if you would like a phone or a video call during that time. We have our virtual classroom shout outs. There's AJ working on reading, a reading assignment, and then Lane doing a science experiment outside, and Colton doing some math. He drew a really cool shape robot. We have our agenda overview for today. Still working on 10 to 15 minute increments for um, activities. If you are not getting through everything in the packet, that's okay. Um, some families have said they're doing one subject in a day. Others are just picking and choosing. Um, you can do a little bit of reading, a little bit of math, a little bit of writing every day. Um, that's You're doing great. Um, science is always fun. It includes other academic skills in there. It's really engaging. So, um, but still thinking in 10 to 15 minute increments, don't worry if you're not getting through everything every single day. It's, that's a lot. If you need anything, you're running out of supplies, let us know. So we have our packet pickup on Friday, then we can try to get things out to families that need supplies that you're running out of. Um, for reading today, practice sight words here and me. Practice this week's letters, J and Q. For phonics, we have letter study of the letter Q. And for extra practice, some of you have digraphs you can work on. Um, rhyming for phonemic awareness. And then for comprehension, it's your child's turn to read the book. Then complete the story elements comprehension page. I have some links for videos to go along with that. They're in the playlist along with this slideshow video and also linked under this video. Um, there's one on the sight word here. The video for the sight word me, just some song practice. And then letter J, letter Q. Yesterday there was a SH digraph video, today is TH focus. And then they've done this do they rhyme video, but this is version two, so a little different. And this week our theme for reading is transportation. So this read aloud book for today, if you want to view it, is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. It's one of my favorite stories. It's really funny. For math, we'll be reviewing shapes and addition. So Miss Gerber has a video for you in there today. Um, warm up is flash and show or counting household items. There's lessons for shape bingo and addition problems using bugs and some practice pages in there. So you'll have a link to Miss Gerber's video ways to play flash and show and then a fun video adding with a pirate which makes adding a little more fun 
then Miss Lopez will have her video. It'll be in the playlist. Um, so it's writing a table of contents. So now that you've your child has written their story, adding a table of contents, numbering the pages, titling the pages, and doing a table of contents. So there's the video that will be there to support for that. Again, activity bingo for ideas for movement breaks. For science, sink or float, and some links for videos to support that. And that's it. I hope everyone has a great Wednesday. Let us know if you have any questions.